Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with the December video for the Gina B. Aaron's design team. This month our challenge was to make something that's a surprise to the other team members and put it in a legal size envelope. <laughs> so not what happened. <laughs> Alright, so the video you're about to see is a compilation of my working on seven different projects all the same but yet different um, since I think August or September of this year I've been working on them whenever I was in the mood or I was in I was not in a creative mood but knew that I had to get these finished and when I started working on them I got creative again and set them aside and went on to something else <laughs> So you know how that works. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so these are all my um, clips. Sadly, three of the books were not videoed because I did them all on the same day and forgot to turn on the camera. Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoy it. I fast forward through a lot of it because there's like months and months worth of videos that I had to pick and choose what I thought was the best parts. And at the end, I will go over each and every book. Alrighty, see you on the other side.
Okay, so I'm going to start with the first book because this is where I started all the books, deciding this is what I wanted to do. And then as I worked through the first book, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's way too much. All right, so the first one is Peg's book, Peg Robinson, from Bits and Pieces and Art Joyous Sharing, Pick a, Chick, Pick a Stick Challenge, say that three times. Uh, so this was the first book that I used, and it also happens to be the largest book I used because I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> when I was into my embossing phase, I know that Peg likes gears and and you know, that kind of steampunk stuff. So that's what I put on the front. This is, I think this is all aluminum tape. Um, and then I made this and put it on the front. This is the, what you saw in the video while I was making the cover and then covered the actual book. I think this one is a Bisquick box. The inside of the book, which you did not see on the video, is all colored, all covered with bits and pieces get it, bits and pieces, of um, metal tape that I did individually and then stuck them on here. Some are raised, some are flat, some are gears, some are really embossed, and there's all kinds of cool stuff. This is some kind of drywall stuff I just did for texture. The spine, the inside spine is one long piece of tape and it's all leaves. I can't show it the whole thing, but let me try this. You see the leaves? They're all on the inside. And then the other side of the book, there's more. And there's some special things in the back that I'm not going to um, go into detail about because um, it's personal to Peg, and her and I will know what they mean. So this is the back of the book, and there's a lot more raised up stuff in the back of the book. I really liked doing the raised items. They were a lot of fun. So then, um, since we had to use Gina's designs, I was a little bit taken aback about how I was going to do this, but what I decided to do is I took a piece of cardstock that had been coffee dyed, and then I stamped with, uh, what color was this color? A brown, rich cocoa. No, brown, it was a brown, I can't get it out of the box, but it was a brown stays on ink pad. And this is one of Gina's designs from her Atomic design set. And then the inside of each one of these cardstock covers, uh, there are five pieces of tea dyed, coffee dyed paper. I also had some pockets, little pocket designs that I made and in did some embossing on them and put one one kind of pocket in every one of the five um, signatures that are in here. And some of the coffee dyed paper has stamp designs on it. Some of it has impressions from sheet pans and paper. And I just experimented the daylights out of this. So that's that. And each one of the different signatures has one of those Tim Holtz tab things. You know, you take it off, you put it on. All right, so the next signature has more atomic stamping on it. Same type paper in the middle. It's all coffee and tea dye paper that I did. I don't know, I've had it for a while and just let it build up. And one day I thought, well, this, this is it. This is my time to use my stuff up. I've been working on all year. And a little birdie told me, by the name of Cindy Utter, that Peg liked coffee dye paper. So that's what I did Peg's book in. Here's yet another little pocket. Um, it's not sewn. It's just drawn kind of squiggly to make it look like it's sewn, but it is with a pen. The next, the next one of the signatures has Gina's little stamp, uh, star stamps. And then again, miscellaneous types of paper. Another pocket on the inside. This one is my favorite one, the scribble words. I love this one. And then again, more coffee dyed paper. And the last one says journey, which is what I've been on at being on a design team. This was my first design team where I, I, I this is my first design team. <laughs> so 
I thought that I would use the word journey because it is the last signature and it was a journey for me. I learned how to do different kinds of things with someone else's products and using someone else's prompts and it made me do things I wouldn't have ordinarily done like the majority of this book <laughs> especially this stuff all right so there's that and then I use the twine the easy twine binding on the book so that if Peg wants to slip any of the paper out and um, use it to collage with or she wanted to paint on it or stamp on it or whatever then all she has to do is slip it out easily and then she can put something else in there in its place if she desires to do that because there's the twine. So there's Peg's book. Then let's see, what was the next? I think the next one I did on here was Cindy Utter. And I put everybody's name on it with the clip because sometimes I forgot whose book was what. So this is Cindy's book where you saw me doing all the doodling. I had student grade drawing paper and I took this big huge sheet and I painted all the little circles with acrylic paint on it then I doodled in every one of the little circles and covered the book and on the inside because I didn't use a lot of Gina's um, Gina's designs in this book I had leftover flowers from when I made my mirror and I glued those flowers inside here so again it is the easy binding, easy twine binding, and it drives me nuts, but she likes all that dangly stuff, so I threw that on the thing just because I thought it would make her giggle. I did it because she knows how much I don't like this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I did the metal embossed flowers from Gina's uh, stencils on here. Every one of the books has some kind of embossing on it, except for Gina's. Oops. <laughs> okay, so then all this is dyed paper of some sort. She can cover it up. She can cut it out. She can give it away. You know, whatever, whatever she wants to do with it. That's what this book is about. This was just a little bit of me saying thank you to the other design team members that I was very happy to um, spend the time with them, getting to know them a little bit at a time, video by video, through um, YouTube and the design team challenges. So this one is... Little Miss Noisy Cindy Utter. Then I think in the video, I don't remember, I think the next one was Shell C. Shell's was a collage. I did that on purpose because I know she's a collage expert, but I didn't do any fancy schmancy stuff. I did uh, shades of blue and purple. Again, the easy twine binding. And again, another one of Gina's flowers. That's a stencil that I did the metal embossing on. And then the inside is, yet again, dyed papers. And I know Shell, it, she is a phenomenal whiz at doing jelly prints. So I thought maybe she'd want a jelly print over this stuff. There's some coffee dyed. There's some uh, watercolor dyed papers. There's a variety of different, different type stuff in here. So I tried to get everybody a little bit of the same thing, but yet they're different. So that is Shell. The next one is... Oh, let me do the next three. All right, so this is where I messed up. I forgot to turn the camera on for these last three because I did them all in the same day. So the last three is Margell, Wendy, and Leslie. And again, they're like the others, yet they're all different. The paper the book is covered in is one of Gina's Digi Designs, and I'm sure it's in her Etsy store. Again, easy twine binding and a metal embossed flower. This is the... Um, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's her color wheel uh, stencil. And I used the very inside of the color wheel stencil to make it look like it's a flower. This was in another video showing how I did this. So I cut out, it was in a, a rectangular pattern, and I cut all that other stuff off just to be left with the, the flower. And that went on the front. And again, all these are different dyed papers. There's five sig signatures in here. And she can do anything she wants with the paper. And I've seen what she does with stuff, so I'm sure that whatever she does, it will be fantastic. There's that one. And this is Wendy. Again, this is another one of Gina's stencils. I did the embossed flower. I did a video on it. This paper is collaged on here. 
uh, as all of the all three of these books were collaged, then uh, the book was covered with the paper. So I did the outside and the inside with one. This is a Gina's Digi Design. Then again, same thing as the others: dyed papers, coffee dyed papers. You know, for to use for however she wants. I think there are there any jelly prints in here? I can't remember. Yeah, there's a couple jelly prints in here too. So anyway, it was just a variety of papers. And then the last one is Leslie. And again, another one of the embossed flowers that I did with the tape. Easy twine binding. And this is one of my favorite, favorite digi papers that Gina has made. And I covered the inside, outside and the inside in the same paper. Took a couple sheets. And also there's jelly prints, dyed paper, sprayed papers, all kinds of goodies inside here. Just, just paper. I didn't do any embellishments or anything. Well, I did the little tabs on here, but I'm not sure how long they'll stay on there. We'll see. I don't know if they make it to her or not, because I can't keep the little boogers to stay on, and I didn't want to glue them in case she wanted to take them off, but they do wiggle off a bit. So this is for Leslie. And the last person is Gina. And I did Gina's a little different than I did everyone else's because she's the design team. I mean, design team leader. She's the designer. So I did her book flat. And I made her book sort of look like the mirror that I made. And um, I used all her stencils. And I did the stencils for flowers, uh, some of the leaves on one of her other things. I used the leaves. And it looks a lot like the mirror that I made for the design team video. Again, easy twine binding. But on the inside, I did not de did not decorate it, but the inside has, um, each one of these has a dyed paper cover to it, and the inside is watercolor paper. Um, I know from vast amounts of experience that Gina does a ton of watercolors, and that's her thing. So I wanted to give her something that she could use and not, you know, she's not, she's not hugely into, I don't think, a lot of collage type stuff, and maybe. But mostly what I think about when I think of Gina, I think of watercolors. So I filled each one of these little sections with watercolor paper. And that way she can watercolor, use this for a little watercolor book. But each one of the, um, each one of the signatures is covered with, um, cardstock that has been dyed or printed in some way, shape, or form. This one's paper. That one's not cardstock. So here are all my books that I made. I made seven. There's Peg, Cindy, Shell, Leslie, Wendy, Margell, and the boss. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun getting to know everyone on the design team and I want to wish the best of luck to the new design team in 2020. I know you guys will do a great job and I will be watching. Thanks everyone and bye-bye.